What is pool bonding? Bonding means connected together. Grounding means connected to earth. By bonding different conductive surfaces of the pool together, you eliminate differences in voltage potential. So if all things are bonded together, so the pool water, the pump, if applicable, any equipment or a surface that is conductive is bonded together, then you won't have any differences of voltage potential in case there was a fault to ground. So let's just say that you had a utility fault to ground. It was a 120 volt fault. Everything that was bonded together would be at 120 volts. So the pool water would be at 120. The pump, if applicable, would be at 120. Any conductive surfaces and anything within five feet of the pool would be at 120 volts. So now if you're standing on that surface, that perimeter around the pool, which is bonded, and you touch someone in the pool, because there is no difference in voltage potential, there's not going to be any electricity flow. So it's going to eliminate or lower the risk of electrocution or shock because everything now is at the same potential. As I stated, references are going to be taken from the 2023 NEC and this video is highlighting equipotential bonding as it applies to the 2023 TIA. So if you look at the slide I have up here, TIA 23.9 was issued after the 2023 NEC was published, and it has an impact on equipotential bonding, specifically how we look at perimeter bonding and what is allowed now in perimeter bonding as opposed to earlier cycles. If you're not familiar with what a TIA is, a tentative interim amendment, it's an amendment that the code panel comes up with based on safety concerns that they issue the TIA. If the TIA is adopted by your authority having jurisdiction, by your municipality that you're working in, then it is enforceable and you will have to follow it. Even though it may not be printed in the 2023 NEC copy that you have, if they adopt TIAs and they enforce them, then you'll have to follow it. So essentially what that TIA change was is it eliminated the number eight perimeter bonding single conductor that was familiar more so in above ground pools and it was also used in below ground pools as far as acting as a perimeter bond if you didn't have structural steel. Essentially on above grounds, it was typically the number eight that you used in the perimeter bonding 18 to 24 inches from the inside wall of the pool and that has pretty much been eliminated now in most circumstances. So instead, what you're going to see required is a 12 inch by 12 inch copper mesh grid or structural steel. Structural steel and below ground pools was pretty much familiar and common for any contractors that are installing in ground pools and they're installing a concrete patio around that. That was pretty familiar for in ground use. The number eight single copper conductor was sometimes being used in those situations or with patio stones. And again, that has now been eliminated. So they're looking for either that structural wire welded fabric or they're looking for a copper 12 inch by 12 inch square mesh that extends three feet out from the interior walls of the pool. 